Now we will derive equations of motion by graphical method. You know there are three equations of motion. The first one is known as velocity time relation that is v is equal to u plus a t. First one. The second one is position time relation that is distance traveled that is s is equal to u t plus half a t square. Now the third one is position velocity relation that is v square minus u square is equal to 2 a s. These are the three equations of motion and we are going to derive these equations of motion by graphical method or by drawing a velocity time graph. Now let us draw a velocity time graph. You know in velocity time graph velocity is represented along the y axis you know its unit is meter per second and time is represented along the x axis you know its unit is second. Now let us draw a velocity time graph just as shown here. You know what does this graph indicate? Yes, in a velocity time graph, the straight line graph indicates, this graph indicates that the object is moving with uniform acceleration. But here the object has some initial velocity. If the graph passes through the center, its initial velocity will be zero. But here object is moving somewhere from here and we say that the point is A and it is moving with a velocity u meter per second. So what is the initial velocity of this object at a u meter per second. Now after some time the object is at the point b and at b can you tell me what is its final velocity? Let the final velocity be v. So here at point a the object has an initial velocity u and its final velocity is v at point b. Now what is the time taken by the object to change its velocity from u to v? What is the time taken? Time taken is represented at the x axis, you know that. So we say that the time taken by the object, let it be t seconds. You see the initial velocity of the object is u, u meter per second. After a time t, it is at the point b, here the final velocity is v meter per second. The object is moving with uniform acceleration. Now let us draw a line from the point A parallel to the time axis. Let it meet at the point let us say D. Now can you tell me what is BD from this graph? From this graph BD is equal to what is BD children? This distance this distance is same as this distance. Am I right? So this distance is equal to O from O to the point C. OC. So BD is same as from OC if you subtract OA what you will be getting children? From OC if you subtract OA you will be getting this distance that is AC. AC is same as what? BD. So what is BD? BD is equal to OC minus OA. Suppose this point is 20, this point be 50. Then what will be BD? BD is equal to 50 minus 20 that is 30. The same here. What is BD? BD is equal to OC minus OA. Now what is OC from here to here? This is V meter per second, the final velocity. This is V. So OC is V and what is OA? OA is u, u is the initial velocity. So BD is equal to what? BD is equal to V minus u that is BD. Now what does the slope of this graph gives? The slope of this graph gives the acceleration. You know how to find acceleration from this graph. Acceleration is the slope of this graph. You know how to find the slope of this graph. To find the slope BD divided by AD you have to find out. So acceleration is equal to slope of this graph slope is equal to BD divided by AD. Can you tell me what is BD? BD is equal to, you see we have already found what is BD. BD is equal to V minus U. What is AD? This distance AD is the time taken that is T. We have assumed that the time taken is T. So AD is equal to T that is A is equal to V minus U by T. Now let us cross multiply. You will be getting AT is equal to V minus U. From here what is V? To find V you have to take minus U to the other side. So it becomes 
plus u. So you get v is equal to u plus a t. This is known as the first equation of motion that is velocity time relation v is equal to u plus a t. I think it is very simple. Draw a velocity time graph. Draw a line with initial velocity u. It indicates the uniform acceleration. At b its final velocity is v. From the graph find what is bd. bd is v minus u that is from this distance if you subtract this distance you will be getting this distance that is bd. So bd is equal to what oc minus oa that is v minus u. Now the slope of this graph gives the acceleration that is acceleration is equal to slope is bd by ad. You know what is bd v minus u. What is ad the time taken that is t. So you will be getting v is equal to u plus at. It is the first equation of motion. Now let us derive the second equation of motion from the same graph that is position time relation. You know what is the area under the graph indicates? You know that area under the graph indicates the distance travelled by the object. The distance travelled by the object is given by distance travelled is represented by yes. Okay. Distance travelled is given by the area under the graph. Now the area under this graph is this is the area under the graph. The area under the graph can be calculated by splitting the area into two pieces that is one triangle and one rectangle. So area under the graph is equal to first you have to find the area of triangle that is half bh with that you should add the area of rectangle that is L into B then you will be getting area under the graph AB. Let, let us find what is that that is equal to half into what is base of this triangle that is AD. AD is what? AD is same as T that is base is T. What is height children? Height is BD. What is BD? BD is equal to V minus U. So instead of uh, uh, height you have to write V minus U plus L into B. What is length children? Length is right, length of this rectangle that is T. T into what is breadth? This distance. This distance breadth is same as you see U is this distance OA. This distance is OA that is U isn't it? U. So when you solve what you will be getting half into t into what is v minus u children? Yes from this relation what is v minus u? v minus u is equal to a t. So instead of v minus u what you can substitute? You can substitute a t plus t into u let us write u t. Okay that is distance travelled is equal to u t let us write u t first u t plus half a t into t t square that is half a t square it is the second relation that is position time relation s is equal to u t plus half a t square that is a distance traveled by the uh, object that is, is equal to u t plus half a t square. So this relation is also derived from the same graph same velocity time graph the second one that is s is equal to u t plus half a t square. Now let us derive the third one that is also from the uh, same graph that is position velocity relation that is v square minus u square is equal to a s. Now you know what is the distance travelled by the object here. Distance travelled by the object that is represented by s that is the area under the graph. You see here the area under the graph this region can be considered as a trapezium. You see it is in a trapezium you know that two sides will be parallel. So this side and this side, this side and this side are parallel. So if you know the area of this trapezium that will give you the distance travelled by the object that is S. So S is equal to area of this trapezium. Here the second case we found the area by splitting this area into two pieces into a triangle and into a rectangle. But here we are going to find the area of this area under this graph in single step that is by applying the area of a trapezium. You know what is the area of a trapezium? Area of a trapezium is equal to half a plus b into h. You know what is h? h is the distance between two parallel lines. What is a and b? Yes a and b are the two parallel sides. Now let us substitute the values of a plus a b and h here. Area is equal to half into what is a? a is this parallel side. What is this length? This length is u oa that is u plus what is b another parallel side this is one parallel side this is another parallel side what is this distance children this distance is oc that is v is this point isn't it so b is v two parallel sides we got 
so this is u and this is same as v now what is height this one yes this is t the height of this trapezium is t that is, is equal to half into u plus v into now you have to find out what is t what is t from the first equation what is t from here t is equal to v minus u by a so here instead of t what you can substitute you can substitute v minus u by a that is is equal to 1 by 2a this is v minus u so this is v plus u what is a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square you know that so v minus u into v plus u you can write it as v square minus u square that is s is equal to 1 by 2a into v square minus u square now take 2a to this side or you just cross multiply then you will be getting 2as is equal to v square minus u square that is the third relation v square minus u square is equal to 2as so these are the three equations of motions and these equations of motions are derived graphically here and we used a velocity time graph to represent or to derive these three equations of motions now let us discuss about uniform circular motion 